What do we know about dark matter? In a certain frameworks, we know a lot. However, we don't understand what it's really made of. The Wavy Dark Matter Summer is a series of three events in uh, 2022 that we have been organizing for the last two and a half years. It is a concatenation of summer school in Bad Honnef, a conference at the University of Mainz, where we are expecting about 180 international scientists. And afterwards, we have another workshop dedicated to the deployment of quantum sensor networks for the detection of wave-like dark matter. The goal of the summer school was to, to, to give uh, a systematic introduction to, to young people into the field, presenting the breadth of the field, both the theoretical and experimental sides. They have in-depth discussions, they are really encouraged also to ask questions, and that all in a very familiar environment. It brings together a, a large range of uh, different communities, which I think make it even more stimulating. That has really added to the, the sparkle of this conference. And I thought that everybody there was really engaged. There's a lot of opportunities for engagement because you're all eating all your meals together and socializing together. The 17th Patras workshop on Axion Wimps and Wisps is a really successful and impressive workshop. At the peak, we had 186 international participants talking about the detection of dark matter with methods, new series and new sensors. On Monday, we have a social evening with our local band, Spontaneous Emission. On Tuesday, we have a poster session with in total 60 posters. Then on Wednesday, we have an excursion. Take everybody, put them into buses, and we drive to Rüdesheim, where we hope that a lot of social interaction takes place. I really appreciate the organizational structure a lot for, for giving me kind of the maximal useful exposure to physics I am interested in. Then the strong participants stayed on for the last week and it's a workshop on detecting dark matter using networks of sensors. So the atmosphere here at the MITP workshop is super good, also the infrastructure, spontaneous discussions of physicists talking about the content of the workshop just can culminate on a blackboard and you have immediately a great outcome and a really nice social atmosphere. It's been really fantastic um, to meet back in person. And so this summer, getting to resume work travel again has been amazing. Because this social aspect of doing science together was something that was completely under the rug for the last two and a half years. And we are very social beings, and uh, scientists in particular, and a lot of ideas are born during coffee breaks and during hikes and during telling jokes at the dinner table. I really like to feel, felt like, you know, we're all part of the same family sort of thing and you guys are welcomed as a lot. So I like that very much. I'm in a bubble of theoretical physics all the time and yet I think about experiments as part of my work. So it's very interesting for me here to get the perspective directly from experimentalists. Every experiment covering every different piece of parameter space is important because no one can do it all. And so we need all of these different people not working together, you're working on different things, but working you know, as part of a community. I am very optimistic that we will see signs of dark matter in my lifetime. The reason being that I feel like we have many extremely well-motivated candidates and a very large effort from a very curious community of very hardworking people who are all fascinated and striving towards this goal of finding what this dark matter is made of. Of course, we don't know what will happen, but I say it's not so improbable that in the next few years this will happen. We have our uh, tools sharpened uh, for this already. 